Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, tech fans. I'm your host, Dave Graveline. Welcome to another exciting update brought to you by Newegg.com and GoToAssist Express. Have you entered our gigantic, cool Into Tomorrow hot summer giveaway yet? We're giving away over 700 items over the entire summer. $75,000 in value in cool consumer electronics. Just hit our website to enter and remember, you can enter once a week all summer long. With Father's Day coming up this month, we're sharing our favorite tech gifts for dads. Rob joins us now with our Into Tomorrow favorite pick. Dave, we have awesome gifts for dads this year. Let's start with my personal favorite, and no, I'm not a dad yet. This thing is amazing. The MiFi is a 3G portable Wi-Fi hotspot. The device is about as big as a business card holder, very thin and light. We were shocked with the speeds we were getting. Dave and I tested the MiFi in New York City in a meeting room in a basement where neither our AT&T or Sprint signals reached. I connected my iPhone to the MiFi and Dave connected his iPod Touch. We were online there all day and no one else could be. You can connect any other Wi-Fi enabled device to it as well. Operation is a no-brainer. After initial setup, just turn the power on, find it, and enter the network key. It can handle up to five devices at the same time. The MiFi costs about 100 bucks with a two-year contract with Verizon after a $50 rebate. Service plans include 250 megabytes for 40 bucks a month and up to five gigabytes for 60 bucks. They don't have an unlimited plan at the moment. That's a bummer. DTV is here, folks, and some of you may have been worried about not having a portable TV that can get the digital signal. Well, a company called Evian has some of our favorite portable DTVs. This is their 7-inch model. Very simple, but it does the job. You can connect either of the two antennas that are included. And it's also cable compatible. You can take this TV anywhere. Rumored has it, Dave has one in his bathroom. It has a rechargeable battery, but also comes with an AC adapter and car adapter. Picture and sound quality on it was pretty good, depending on the signal strength, so you can experiment with either one of the antennas. The portable DTV from Evian is available under 200 bucks. If your dad doesn't have a Blu-ray player, it's time to get one for him. Check this one out from LG. It's a network-enabled Blu-ray player, which means you can stream content from the internet. LG calls it Netcast. Get instant entertainment from Cinema Now, Netflix, and YouTube. It kind of makes its Blu-ray playback secondary. It boots off a lot faster than other Blu-ray players, and it's about 350 bucks. After checking all of these cool gifts for dads, it kind of makes me want to be a dad. Congratulations to all the fathers out there, and to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. Hope you were listening, Chris. Did you know that you can actually double your chances to win in our hot summer giveaway? Here's how. When you call in and participate on our weekly radio show, either with a consumer electronics question or perhaps a response to help another listener with their question, once your call airs on the show, your entry will be added again. We call it double dipping. So call us, even right now, at 1-800-899-4686 or anytime, 24-7, all summer long. If you live outside of North America, you can send us a brief quality MP3 to ask Dave at graveline.com. And when that airs, that will also double your chances. This ITTV Into Tomorrow update is brought to you by Newegg.com. Presenting their Canon Summer Cruise and Sweepstakes. You could win a brand new BMW 128i, Mazda RX-8, or Volkswagen GTI. Your pick. Visit Newegg.com for official rules and eligibility requirements. And also brought to you by GoToAssist Express. If you're still trying to fix technical problems in person or over the phone, you're wasting time and money. Support smarter with GoToAssist Express. You have got to try it, and you can do so for free for 30 days at GoToAssist.com slash Dave. Be sure and visit them. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Buckle up and get ready now to travel back in time. Here's Chris with This Week in Tech History. 
This week in 1752, founding father Benjamin Franklin tied an iron wire to his kite and let it sail. He flew the kite from a long piece of twine tied to a silk ribbon on the end. Franklin attached a metal key where the twine and silk met. As the lightning began to flash, he put his hand near the key and sparks flew. The test was a success. In 1944 this week, the wire recorder was patented. We got one right back over here. Wire recorders were the precursor of much easier to use magnetic tape recorders. In 1951 this week, Univac 1 was unveiled in Washington, D.C. Built as the world's first commercial computer, Univac was designed for the U.S. Census Bureau. The massive computer was 8 feet high, 7.5 feet wide, and 14.5 and feet long. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. We'll catch up with you again very soon. Remember to join us on the radio for our broadcast from the Games for Health Conference in Boston, Massachusetts next week. Meantime, follow us at Graveline.com. I'm Dave Graveline.